Back again by popular demand, Carlos uh, Laniax is president, CEO of Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Essex, Hudson and Union Counties. Good to see you, Carlos. Good to see you, Steve. Thanks for having me. For those who do not know from past appearances, <laughs> tell the folks what the organization is. Yeah, so Big Brothers, Big Sisters is a nonprofit organization that's been around for over a century, rooted firmly in the belief that every single child deserves a positive adult mentor, people in their corner, a champion in, in their side, mm. to manifest their full potential. And frankly, the kids that come to us from places like Newark, East Orange, Jersey City, and, and beyond have challenges thrust upon them without their own control. And so without having regular caring adults in their lives, they might not be able to manifest their full potential. Yet we know um, they have it in them, and so we simply try to guide alongside them through the power of mentorship. Who steps up to volunteer and mentor? And so anyone really could be a mentor. This is why the power of this platform. Any single uh, uh, adult can be trained, vetted, and supported through our program. I'm putting up the website right now for people who want to know more. Go ahead. It's only four hours a month for one year to become a mentor. So anyone Go can through really that again. Do this. Four hours a month. Yeah, just think about it, Steve. If we just reroute an hour a week uh, into the life of our child, we really could reroute the narrative. And far too often is the case, as you know, uh, if it bleeds, it leads. Many of our leading uh, articles and media coverage in our, in our urban centers are disproportionately negative. But we know we can get on the front end through the power of prevention through the life of a child through the power of mentor. One of the other initiatives, uh, Bigs in Blue, we've talked about it before. That's right. I know where it was then. What is it? Where is it now? So about 2010, we were noticing and feeling from our community uh, a growing disconnect from um, our children and our community and our law enforcement. And we know that sometimes uh, our young people just see a badge, but they don't know the person behind that badge. Mm. And similarly, the badge may not understand the, 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 the human experience of our children. And so through uh, the power of this one-to-one -one relationship, we built a program called Bigs in Blue in 2010 out of Newark, New Jersey. And then we grew it over throughout the years in Jersey City, Union County, and beyond. And frankly, a couple of years ago, it's a, it's a blessing that we're part of a national network that has taken it on around the country. So we've seen Bigs and Blue partnerships <coughs> uh, manifested in, in Dallas and in, uh, Miami and Chicago and around the country. At the core, it's still trying to get to know a positive adult mentor uh, through, through our program in law enforcement and pairing them up through a thoughtful process with a child in our community that needs a positive adult mentor. What kind of impact do you think it's having? It's, it's tremendous. So first of all, the kids that come to us, about a third of them um, are referred by DCPNP the state social work system, essentially. Right. So you don't have to know much about the child's uh, personal story to know that something crazy is going on in that child's life that the state has to get involved. You're talking about child services. Exactly right. And so frontline social work staff on behalf of the state said they need positive, regular, caring adults in their lives, and that's where we come in. And so the context that, that, that our kids from once they come is, is a bit chaotic, a bit crazy. And we know that if we structure a program through love and care and regularity mm -hmm. with this regular mentor, we see the trends reverse. And so on the back end, we see 97% of our kids graduate from high school, which is a blessing as part of a solution. We're not the panacea, but we're part of a comprehensive solution. The interaction between a not-for-profit and a government agency, you just gave a really good example of a government agency that is responsible for these kids, but can only go so far, right. and needs a not-for-profit like yours to step in and fill that gap. That's right, and, and this is where you know you trust the professionalism of the people on the ground who hear and see all the things that bring these young people to them. Um, and so they have all the information and then they know what's a powerful resource to, to be leveraged into that child's life. And so, yeah, we, we, we get tossed into this conversation. And frankly, right now, we're trying to figure out a partnership to help us elevate what we do so that we're valued, financially valued. Because as you mentioned, a nonprofit organization, it's about raising awareness to land more mentors for our organization, but it's also about raising money. And so we're trying to land those, those two are, M words, you, mentors and money. Are you implying, Carlos, that those of us who lead nonprofits spend <laughs> a disproportionate amount of our time? We've got to hustle, and we've got to sell our, <laughs> ourselves and constantly. our value. Constantly, constantly. No money, uh, no mission. Exactly right, exactly right. And it, we have hundreds and hundreds of young people on right. a wait list. So the demand is high and the, and the need for our work is strong. Where do your dollars come from? Largely uh, philanthropy. So uh, private sector partners, Valley Bank is one of our leading partners and they're helping us lead a number of different things on the financial side, as well as using their core competency to infuse that into our programming. So we're about to launch a, a financial literacy program with, in partnership with them. And, and it's one of many examples. Pershing BNY Mellon Jersey City is another one that's been solid for our program. Um, and what they do is just simply say what they do well as a professional sure. organization and bring it and infuse it into to our program. By the way, PS uh, Valley is a supporter of what we do as well. Um, so here's what's interesting to me. You've been at this for more than a couple of years, right? How many? 12 years. It's uh, we're getting old, Steve. <laughs> uh, yeah, join the, we're not even the same club. How has it changed? <clears throat> 
leading the organization? Um, it hasn't changed, and that's the power of what we do. I was talking to a mutual friend of ours, Father Ed, earlier yeah, today. Father Edwin. And, you know, you realize as much as the challenge... About changing lives at St. Benedict's Prep. Go ahead, I'm Absolutely. sorry. Absolutely, and, and I'm, I'm formally from the, on the board of St. Yeah. Benedict's, and we're partners on this mission. You realize the marathon is long. And no matter what the conversation has at a national level and how people focus in on the big issues of the day, the work that will change lives happens every single day on the ground. And it requires that hustle. It requires that uh, ability to build bridges and partnerships. And so as much as it's changed, it's really the same. But what fuels people like me and Father, and frankly, we were talking about this today, was those moments of ROI, return on investment. But for people like us in the nonprofit world, ROI is uh, viewed differently. So I'll tell you about one of our stories, Jassad, who was matched up in our program, born and raised in Newark. Had Is some he young kid? Young kid then, and now college uh, uh, freshman now. And he graduated high school on time from Newark, born and raised in the South Ward of Newark, tough context. His only men uh, male mentor was murdered in the streets of Newark. That's what got him into the table. His only male mentor. Yeah, he didn't have a father in his, uh, in his life, and, and uh, tragedy brought him to the table. Nearly a decade later, we paired him up through a thoughtful process, and he's had the same mentor throughout those years. He graduated high school on time. Now he's a freshman at Caldwell University, and he committed to us that after his freshman year, he was going to sign up to be a big brother to a child in our community. That, to me, is what fuels us. That, to me, is what the ROI is all about. It's interesting. People talk about metrics, ROI, show us your numbers. Yeah. How do you measure the impact? That, that's one kid. Right. And someone will say, well, how many kids? It's not a question of sometimes how many, it's what impact on one. The ripple effect is so intense. We see this, we, measure, we have measurables that our, uh, our donors uh, ask of us, the graduation sure. rates, the attendance rates, the positive that matters. Uh, things that happen that we, that we evaluate on the pre-end and on the post-end. We have surveys that we administer in our program. But for me as a person leading this organization, a mission-driven person, a purpose-driven conversation is about those moments of humanity. And frankly, what we're seeing is him seeing a positive future for himself. Jassad. Jassad. And that's one example, and we've got four, over 4,000 in our program throughout the years. Uh, last year, we had a record-breaking year, um, and this year, we're looking to grow about 10%. And there's always a call to actually get more people involved in our program because this is what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Imagine if 10% of the Newark adult population would mentor a child in Newark. We'd have every single child yeah. in our community with a one-to-one -one mentor. So the potential is on us. Carlos, keep doing what you're doing. Bless you. you have Thank an open you. invitation. Appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. That's uh, Carlos. I'm Steve, and we'll be right back right after this. Think Tank with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Funding has been provided by Valley Bank, New Jersey Sharing Network, PSE&G, the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, NJM Insurance Group, the Fidelco Group, the New Jersey Education Association, the Russell Berry Foundation, and by Fedway Associates, Inc. Promotional support provided by NJ.com and by the New Jersey Business and Industry Association. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.